Hello, my name is Peter Griffiths and welcome aboard my yacht Crofton Lock. This video has been made with the help of the marina community to give visitors and home base captains and crews local information on Kilrush Marina, its facilities and special navigational requirements for operations into and out of the marina via its lock system. This video is part one of two parts and gives general information. Part two details automatic lock operation. As with all navigational data, this video is provided to give guidance only to crews and provides information they need to be aware of prior to operating in the marina basin. It does not provide a comprehensive briefing. It is the responsibility of all captains to familiarise themselves with the latest information on port operations and any changes that may have occurred since production of this video from official sources. Boats operating in the marina should always check with marina management for latest information and review information available via marina notice boards or on the marina website killrushmarina.ie. Killrush Marina is located in the Shannon Estuary on the west coast of Ireland approximately 18 miles from Loop Head. The Shannon Estuary is an extensive waterway 50 miles long. Its entrance is between Loop Head, the northernmost point of the outer entrance, and Kerry Head to the south. Its widths vary from 10 miles at the entrance and 1 mile wide at the narrowest point at Tarbot. It is a tidal estuary and tides run hard even in the outer parts of the Shannon estuary, but particularly around Tarbot. Reference should be made to charts to assess tidal impacts on boat movements. Large vessels navigate the waterway and care should be taken when navigating in or close to the main channel to avoid large ship movements who are constrained by draught. There are also numerous large ship anchorages to the west of Scattery Island and for smaller ships to the east of the island. Kilrush Marina is situated north of Hog and Scattery Island. Its entrance is clearly marked by a red and white fairway mark. It's also lit during hours of darkness. Details of buoy and light sequence are given on navigational charts. The approach channel to Kilrush Marina marked on most charts shows an extensive buoy system along with shore-based lead-in lights. Local voyage does change depending on time of year and maintenance requirements or in poor weather conditions when they can be moved by seabed movements. Therefore, the lead-in lights based on the shore are the best source of information on channel position and should be used as a reference line both entering and departing Kilrush Marina. They are clearly marked on charts. Careful attention should also be paid to approach channel depths during the approach as seabed movements can occur depending on tide and storm conditions. Captains approaching can expect that the depth available will be significantly less than the currently indicated in charts that show a dredged channel 1.5 metres below chart datum. This channel does fill with silt and has to be dredged periodically. Currently during spring low water tides, channel water depth is about 60 centimetres at its deepest point. This tidal constraint on the marina channel means that for most boats, safe entry and exit is possible two hours either side of low water. Restrictions apply inside these time limits and marina staff should be consulted if you wish to operate within them, especially during spring tides. If you need to wait for access, there are plenty of anchorages both east and west of the islands and are clearly shown on charts. If you are a new visitor or arriving prior to sufficient water being available, please contact the marina team for operational advice and anchorage locations. However, please note if lying alongside Kappa Pier adjacent to the marina entrance, there is a pilot boat operating 24-7 from the pier and care should be exercised to ensure that its operations are not impeded. The tidal conditions in the Shannon have a tidal rise of above 4 metres so there's always sufficient water for most boats outside the restricted times. Kilrush Marina is open every day from 0800 to 1800 and during June, July and August until 2130. Outside these times, there is a marina manager on call 24 seven and available by phone. The numbers to call are indicated on signage at the marina entrance outside of the lock. Arrivals during darkness can be difficult for all crews but especially for visitors. There is a good lead-in light unit on the shore giving channel centre line, but it should be noted that the channel buoys are not lit. The lock is well lit, but three steel poles on the outside of the lock are not, 
and can be difficult to see in dark night conditions. It should therefore not be attempted without lo some local guidance. Staff will come out to boats requesting assistance to enter the lock and marina for the first time or if considered by captains to be beyond their skill level. Marina staff and local operators will always assist in building confidence if required to help all crews enter and depart in safe conditions. Special arrangements can be made to allow late access if required or during the hours of darkness. Listening watch is kept on VHF channel 80. The lock system can be manually and automatically controlled. Home-based boats control the lock via mobile phone and details of this will be given in part two of this video set on how automatic operations are managed. If you're a home-based boat, please take time to review this video, which contains a lot of information on how to enter and leave the marina in automatic mode. Once in the lock, you will find a channel marked through the basin to the marina moorings. The water depth is maintained to be generally 2.5 to 3 meters deep. The water level in winter can vary beyond this during storm surges or high wind conditions as water levels are dropped to reduce damage to boats from high winds as well as providing flood defences for the town. The speed limit is 4 knots in the marina basin for large boats. Higher speed ribs do operate in the water sports area but should not be operated if they produce large wakes which erode the bank or cause damage to other boats. The marina has facilities for 120 boats on three pontoons. There is also an extensive boatyard with the ability to lift boats up to 45 tonnes and place them ashore in the yard for work. There are a number of marine businesses working from the yard who do everything from building new wooden boats to fibreglass repairs, engine and electrical services. Details are available from marina staff who will be able to give you information on who is able to carry out the work. The Royal Western Yacht Club of Ireland also operates from the marina and the home of Rope Locker Island where you can obtain ropes and other marine chandlery items. Diesel fuel is available 24-7 from the automated fuel pontoon adjacent to the boat yard which is self-service. Petrol for outboards is also available from local petrol stations, some of which stock two-stroke oil suitable for marine engines. They are within walking distance from the marina and details can be obtained from marina staff. There is also a supermarket and shopping centre within a short walk from the marina office. The water is very clean in the marina basin and supports extensive fish and wildlife as well as swimmers despite its appearance. The marina is fed by a river with fresh water which comes down through peat field giving its distinctive black brown appearance. The Kilrush Marina Basin is also the home of the West Coast Aqua Park and children swim in the water every day, so any contamination needs to be rapidly addressed. Please ensure that all spillages are reported at once to marina staff to protect water quality. If your boat is fitted with black and or grey tanks, they need to be in use as all emissions from boats are strictly controlled. If your toilets and wash water systems discharge directly overboard, they must not be used. It is also necessary that automatic bilge pumps which are likely to, dis to discharge contaminants overboard are switched off for the duration of the stay. At the time of making this video, there are no pump out facilities available, but there is extensive shower and toilet facilities ashore for marina users. There is also Wi-Fi and 240 volt electrical supplies available. On entry to the marina, there is a water sports area to the north of the channel where sailing and high speed boats operate. On average the water depth here is 2 metres, so they should not be entered by yachts except with extreme caution. Operating from the marina there are also a number of commercial boats, the main ones are the Scattery Island Tours Ferry which takes visitors out to the ancient monastery on Scattery Island operating from Pier A, as well as a dolphin observation boat that takes visitors to the west coast to view some of the local dolphins that live in the river. Kilrush is part of the wild Atlantic Bay of Ireland. There are a number of tourist attractions within range of the marina. Details of local attractions and advice on how to get there can be obtained from the Kilrush Marina Office. Finally, for information on the region, visit the Irish Tourist Office website. For the latest navigational information, consult the Irish Cruising Club sailing directions for the south and the west coast, along with large-scale Admiralty charts 2254 and 2173, 
which cover the southwestern and northern approaches respectively, and the Imray chart C55, which covers Dingle Bay to Galway Bay. Information on Kilrush Marina and its facilities and other information are available on kilrushmarina.ie. We look forward to seeing you. Thank you.